What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto this channel. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, this one might be a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna be hitting you. I'm going to be hitting you guys with another commentary style. I, I like doing these. I like doing these commentary videos. I can just press the, press the record button, give my thoughts, opinions, how, what I what I think can fix things, what I think needs balancing, what, and then just stop recording. Fucking just just give it to you uncensored. I don't want to. I don't want to sound like a robot. I want to sound like a real person. So, uh, but yeah, if you guys could tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, we're gonna be talking about the possibility and something I've been talking about for a while now of the next Battlefield game. Um, not the next full-on Battlefield game, but the next Battlefield thing we might be getting from Ripple Effect is actually going to be a battle royale style. Game now, a lot of people have been telling me. I, I touched on this in the leaks video, and this we're going to be talking about this. I, I told they were going to get their own videos. We're going to be touching on the BR leak thing today, and I've been telling people that um, th this is this was been this has been in the works. It's it's been coming. It's going to come. There's nothing you can really do about it because EA likes money, and from the success that they that other games and other you know big big AAA games you know, ha have had putting out their own BR, <coughs> cough, cough, Call of Duty. Um, EA's just not going to sit on the sidelines and just watch that happening or watch that happen, especially now it's been exacerbated by the idea that Microsoft is going to get Activision and the rights to COD and they may yoink it off of PlayStations completely and, you know, there might be a little opportunity for Battlefield to just slide on in there and, and take its place, but... Yeah, we're going to be talking about the possibility of the Battlefield, a Battlefield Battle Royale. Now, let me preface this with, by saying this. I understand that DICE has tried this with BF5, but you're kidding yourself if you really think they cared about Firestorm and BF5. It was locked behind the paywall of the full game. It was only 64 players, and I think that thing got two POI updates, and that was it. It was like that dome. No, the towers were first at like the, the south side of the map. And then the dome that you could like drop through the hole and it was like a whole big thing. It got two POI updates, some balancing things, and then they stopped supporting the, that before they even stopped supporting BF5 as a whole. That was a little taste, a little throw out, almost a beta alpha style thing to test the waters to see if people would actually like it. I liked it. It's one of my favorite BRs, but I'm also uh, partial to Battlefield and the feel of it and all that. So, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't a huge hit, but... Because it was locked behind the paywall, and because it was Battlefield Five, and because it was only sixty-four players, and la 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 da da da, you know the story. We all know the story, and we get it. But I'm talking about a full-fledged, full release, free to play, fully supported with its own studio, Battle Royale Battlefield game. Now, with the leak, it says Battle Royale developed by Ripple Effect. We we've known this. Free to play, of course. Biggest map in Battlefield his, history, roughly double the size of Verdansk. L. I don't think it should be that big. If it is, you need like 300 players. Helis and tanks are gained through contracts. Okay, and they drop in by air. I don't know if you should have tanks in the game, but maybe helis. Big focus on classes, of course. Set in Moscow. Your goal is to eliminate all other operators, extract early, and return next match with better loot. So there at the end. It sounds like it's going to be a mix of... So, it, it sounds like the game's going to start. It's going to be like a mix of DMZ and a BR. The game's going to start. You can go in. If you find something really good off the bat, you can extract from the game and then go into another lobby. Or you can stay in the lobby, eliminate everybody, kill everybody, and win, and then extract. So, it's, it sounds like there's going to be it's going to be a combination of a, kind of multiple game modes on top of each other. Where the goal isn't necessary to, to get a lot of kills, but it's also not necessar necessarily to get to extract immediately. You can do what you want. Kind of have that freedom to do it and uh, and, and, and wiggle your way in there. Um, from the sounds of that, it doesn't sound bad, but obviously it comes down to execution. It comes down to execution. It comes down to if the community wants it, which of course you guys are going to say no because we're stuck in 2010. And if <laughs> you, people aren't going to like that. If... You, you, they, they have, and here's the thing also, I'm so everywhere in this video because I get kind of fired up talking about this. They have bigger fish to fry than worrying about a battle royale. I know this, everybody knows this. You need to get your multiplayer right. You're bringing campaign back. Let's get that right. And then whatever co-op type thing you're going to do, let's get that right. Let's get all of that right. Let's get a good launch of a game. Let's get it off the ground. Let's get some patches, some DLC. Then we can start talking about 
that once the game has picked up momentum, you drop a BR, boom, it explodes, it's doing great, you know, the likelihood of this happening is absolutely zero, but let's just say it does, so I want to say and preface that with, yes, they have other things to worry about than a goddamn battle royale, I know this, but we're having fun, let's have fun, let's have fun with it, to me, if you're gonna do it, it needs to be 150 players plus, ain't no 100 player BR, we're not doing that no more, 150 to 200, which DICE can do, um, especially in the next game when it's next-gen only and it's the engine has been approved on and you can do it. COD's been doing it since um, Warzone came out. They've had 200-player modes before. like It's called like Super Battle or whatever it's called. Yeah, a lot of players. Um, classes being in the BR is actually kind of interesting to me. Um, that could be something cool. And then obviously the vehicles and the helis <laughs> might be a problem, especially the tanks could be a huge problem. Um, if this stuff is true, of course, and yeah, I just, I just think Battlefield is primed to have a put out a free to play big with its own studio, not with dice Stockholm ripple effect. Let them have it. Let them, if that's their baby, if all this is true and that's their baby, let them go full tilt at it. Like that's the only thing they're working on. You shouldn't be working on anything else. Don't like, Oh, here you go. It's just something small that we've been. No, we can't do that. You got to come out, put your dick on the table, come out swinging, come out throwing haymakers, and you know, hopefully, we'll see where it goes. Let Stockholm and Ridgeline and all these other people let's get the let's get the multiplayer right, get the campaign right, ripple effect. Take as much time as you need. If this BR shit is true, hold on to it, work on it, polish, polish, work on it, polish, polish. Maybe put out a beta, maybe put out something, 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 and you know get get the get the next game out let's get some momentum and then we can drop it and then boom kumbaya my lord kumbaya everybody everybody well not everybody but a lot of people will be happy i'm a content creator so i'm kind of selfish with it i'm not gonna lie to you do you know what a battlefield free-to-play br like dropping that night would do for my channel and if i was live i mean i'm kind of i'm kind of selfish i'm kind of selfish i'm gonna admit it i'm gonna admit it but i think it would be cool because i was a fan of firestorm and I, I think it's something that is coming i think it's inevitable and um yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about it a little bit, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Tell me what you guys think down below. Would you want to be R? Do you not want to be R? Should it be free to play? How many players? Should it have tanks? Should it be this? Should it be that? What do you got? What would you guys like the setting to be? All that good stuff. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, consider becoming a member, and I will catch you guys in the next one. It's been me, Just Gav. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See you. Bye, guys. <laughs>